then I hear, you know, one of the seniors talk about like how it feels to go to the Sweet 16 and you know the importance of winning this next game to advance. Um, I mean, it feels good. First of all, um, uh, defeating a great Louisville team. And uh, advancing out of college park, you know, something that we weren't able to do last year. And uh, with this group of girls, it's uh, them getting that experience and playing, you know, at another regional site um, besides our own. And, and having to go down there and, and play in front of, you know, like T said, with the fans, they, they're having the um, ability to come down and support us, you know, with it being so close to home. I think it's going to be a great environment for us. And the coach felt like you guys were a little tight being here at home because of the pressure off the win. Do you feel like you guys can make a lot of lose now that you're going out to Raleigh and get back to Maryland basketball? I mean, yeah, I think something that was that we really wanted to avoid was that second game, you know, and then uh, the thought of probably, you know, losing in that second game. But, you know, I, I think we, we stick together pretty much and, and we fought hard for each other. And, you know, it's like a sigh of relief. Um, and heading into, the, uh, heading into the Raleigh region, and um, just just knowing that we, we do get to play another game, we do get to showcase you know our talents and our coaching staff at, at another at another level and another stage. It's going to be a lot of fun. Okay, Lauren, when he got into foul trouble early against Louisville, was that a conscious effort on your part to say someone else is going to take over the scoring? So I'm going to do it. Um, I don't think it really was a conscious effort. Um, I think we all collectively worked about um, the mentality of the game, which was to attack. And um, fortunately, I was able to execute. And I know 12 strong is one of the models for this team this year. How much does that ring true in a tournament like this when it seems anybody can step up at any moment to win this game? I mean, when when you, when, I know I'm pretty sure you guys have went back and looked at the first game as well. And when you see how they were able to, you know, kind of take uh, one of our strong points out of the game and to have Lauren Mitchie step up, to have Tiana step up, um, and just to have Angela distribute the ball, Bones came in and played great minutes. Kim came in and played great defense. Like that's what the, our bench was great for us. Like that's what that's what we need. Like we, we need us to be twelve strong. And I believe everybody in the locker room bought into that. And we all believe that we are twelve strong. And just to go out and get that win in, in this atmosphere was, was great for us. So what do you think about facing the defending champs? I mean, obviously, target really on their back. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be a lot of fun, and, and like I said, I think uh, a lot of people uh, are don't have don't have faith in us. Uh, that's I honestly believe that, and I believe that we're going to go out and we're going to be ready to play. You know, I, I, I like you said, I think the pressure's on them um, to go out and perform, and all we have to do is just keep playing around basketball. Well, what do you think, facing the chance? Um, I'll probably piggyback on what that is that um, the target is definitely on them. Um, I know a lot of people. Um, don't have faith in us, but we're going to come out and we'll play strong with a lot of energy for 40 minutes and just give it all that we got. Orange, there's something special about you getting a chance to play the defending champions and maybe knock them off in person? Um, yeah, it's really special. Um, like she said, it was it was good that we, we got over the hump and are able to play in um, this round. And um, it's just good to see that we're, 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 um, we're making – we're making our, you know, our names known now, and we're playing defending champs, and you know we have an opportunity to beat them. Does that feel strange? You mentioned that people <coughs> don't have faith in you. You're number two seed. You've been in the top five all year long. You won big games. You won defeated three quarters of the way through, and yet you feel underappreciated then. The fact with the credentials you have in the end. Um, like I said, they're defending national champs. So I'm pretty sure people are gonna pick that over, you know, number two C, number five, and eight, stuff like that, regardless of what their ranking is. At the end of the day, we're still gonna fit a national chance. And I think that uh, <clears throat> there, I think that people will kind of take that experience over us. But uh, we're hungry, we're hungry, and we're ready to make our run in this tournament. And like I said, if everybody bought in to what the coaches have been preaching to us all year, and, and to our, and to our, uh, our motto is 12 strong and fight to finish. And, and that's something that the whole uh, locker room has bought into. We all believe in each other. And that's what's most important at the end of the day. Is it strange going into these games knowing that any one of them could be your last because you're a senior? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's definitely strange. But, you know, our, our underclassmen have stepped up so big for us this year. Um, they, they really believe in uh, playing to the end for their seniors. And that's a good feeling uh, going out and, and knowing that you have that supporting cast, just making big plays for you, just coming out and stepping up strong. And uh, giving everything they have to make sure that our last year is, is we're going out on a good and a high note. So, I mean, it's just definitely a lot. It's comforting playing with these players in the locker room.
coach kind of talked to you guys about the 2006 championship team and kind of the similarities in terms of your path and the fact that no one thought they could win as well? And here they went with opposite bows. Um, oh, <laughs> Jesus, 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 um, yeah, I mean, she definitely talked about where we compare to, you know, the 2006 team. And um, we, we definitely want to follow her in their footsteps. You know, they're, they're great role models to us, you know. Uh, they come back, give us advice, and, and things like that. And we, we definitely want to go out. We want to, something that we want to do here is, you know, protect our Maryland legacy. So just to have, you know, them compare us to that team, it, it's a great honor. But we also want to uh, leave our names in the, in the books, too, as well. So that's something that we're going out and I'm looking forward to do uh, heading into Raleigh. Well, what's your approach as a sophomore, having not been at this point before, playing against a team that's won a national championship that kind of relies on seniors and have so much experience? Um, I would say my approach is, you know, just very excited. Um, I know that um, Texas A&M does have the experience, but we have seniors on our team that's been through it all. That's why, you know, Anj, Kim, they've been here for five years, and Lynetta, she's been through it. They won the ACC uh, championship, so I know we all have experience, and, you know, like she said, um, the underclassmen are stepping up, and we you know, go out and play basketball. Um, what do you think about the, their pressure, their athleticism, coach, compared to, to like a Miami or a Georgia Tech they faced, obviously, a lot this year? How do they look on tape? Um, we haven't really got too much into the scout, but um, we know that they're really, um, you know, high intensity, up on the ball, pressure, you know, um, just going to make you take tough shots. So we're just going to, uh, you know, game plan, um, and go about what the coaches tell us to do.